Okay, conventions for describing vector components. Just go over this very quickly. Uh, when, when they write it in the textbook, um, the magnitude of a vector is always in light face, italic. So it's not in bold, but it's in light face, and it's italic. And this, this quantity is always non-negative. Okay? Always a positive value. So it doesn't matter. So if you've got, say, your x direction there, your y direction, and so now your the, the vector is like that. Say f is there. Right? Even though it's pointing in the negative x direction and negative y direction, the magnitude of this force is always positive. Okay? However, the scalar components, okay, will always include sign information. So it could be minus 10 newtons in the x direction, minus 5. Okay? All right. Uh, what's the next point here? The next point is that if you are including both the force and its components, okay, so Fy, Fx, both its components, then make sure that you either have the force solid line and the components dashed, or vice versa, the the force dashed and the components in a solid line. Okay, so so these are not three forces acting on an object. I hope you make that clear. We don't have an Fx, an Fy, and an F. There aren't three forces here. We have either this force or we've got the two components of that force. So I think in other textbooks, I think they might um, they might draw it like this, where they cross that out to show that that's the resultant or the vector sum, and those are the two components. But please make sure, don't confuse those, because you could end up adding those three forces together, and then you're going to get something that's completely wrong. Okay? All right, what's next in this paragraph? Uh, I think that's fine over there. Now, um, okay, let me stop here. We'll move on to this determining the components of a force in the next one.